to my studio. <laughs> this is um, where the magic happens. No, I'm just kidding. Sometimes it's really convenient for me to have clients come here versus going to them, depending on if their event is you know, in Beverly Hills or in Hollywood because I'm very central and right in Hollywood. Um, and so I created like a really nice, beautiful space, not only to keep and store all of my makeup, which um, I have a lot of, you'll see. <laughs> it just keeps accumulating, keep accumulating all this makeup, but um, also a beautiful station so that, you know, I can see this is my beloved Ricky Loves Ricky um, mirror so it has light that comes out I can put a phone on it if I want to do um, any kind of uh, talking to the to the phone which we all know we have to do now <laughs> so that works out really well and then I just have my basics here skincare basics and also brushes and then um, I like to keep these are just sort of things that I've had for many, many years, like books that I've collected and also for inspiration and also just artists that I adore and keepsakes that mean a lot to me. This clam, I, I got on a shoot in Tahiti for Elle. Um, I've been lucky enough to be given some awards from WWD and Marie Claire. I have, you know, different things that have kind of meant different things to me over the years, but I just love to have it around me when I'm in my creative mode because sometimes you never know when inspiration will strike or some book will, will have the right um, phrase or picture or something that will just kind of transform a makeup into something greater. Also, this Dior Art of Color book with Peter Phillips and Serge Tant and is like one of my favorite books I got in Paris and I just love, it just makes me really um, happy. So anyway, this is um, where we keep the makeup, or I keep the makeup. <laughs> this is like right now, um, my top drawer, I really have mostly just skincare. Every kind of skincare you can imagine. So here I collect all of the masks and um, little things that are more like treatment. Um, I have a lot of things that I like to use for, um, for preparing for makeup. Like, um, not necessarily, uh, you know, makeup that itself, but it's like the makeup is not going to be successful unless you have the perfect skin preparation. So this is an area where I keep a lot of the masks that I really love and and things also that people send me that um that uh, I need to try. I keep it out here, so sometimes I'll come out myself and try things um, before I use it on a client. This is all, you know. Um, mostly moisturizers and brands that I are beloved to me, um, Sicily, Venn, um, I love natural brands. I'm a really big fan of natural beauty brands and so a lot of the brands that I use tend to be um, very simple and they don't really have a huge amount of uh, ingredients or fragrance or things like that. And then on the other side when you have to be really serious, I have like very effective brands, you know, things like 111 Skin and things like, um, you know, uh, the more the more big guns they come out when, you know, and I also work a lot um, with a Japanese skincare brand, Koga and Do, which is one of my favorite brands in the world. Complexion is so important to me as an artist, making sure the complexion is gorgeous. So they're a brand that I like use a lot of their things. Then we move into <laughs> foundation, concealer. Again, if you can see how important complexion is to me, <laughs> two entire drawers devoted purely to complexion alone. Um, again, Cogendo, NARS, um, there's my wonderful friend Troy Surratt, his line. These are some of the most beautiful foundations in the world. Um, I have Flesh Beauty, which I've become a big fan. Um, and I really like to experiment with um, different brands of, when it comes to complexion um, because I'm always searching for the magic combination of things and so that's been, you know, kind of a, the uh, way that I have found for me is almost like alchemy. It's like mixing and all of that. So then this drawer goes into more kind of um, color, a little bit more color. So I have pencils in every shade, you know, they're all organized by color. And then I have eyeshadow and eyelashes. These are things that are like, for me, I like to make palettes. So I enjoy when I am working almost like a painter, kind of like how I think about 
makeup is similar to, I guess, a painter would think about paint. So I love using, breaking down all of these things into creams, into different textures, just, you know, more pure pigments. Um, this is one of my favorite ways to work and one of my favorite palettes. And then again, I use, I have a lot of um, different tools. These are face halos, which I don't know if anyone knows about this, but they're fantastic. <laughs> I use them myself and I use them, I give them to clients often because they're great to travel with and they just remove your makeup like a swifter for your face. Pretty good stuff. Um, and then these are just all kind of creams and things like that. And then in the last drawer, I have lipsticks and lipsticks, if you didn't realize, <laughs> are very, very important to me as well. <laughs> so for me, I don't think there's enough lipsticks in the world <laughs> to like um, to satisfy me. <laughs> there's just not. I would probably, even though I have all these, if I see a lipstick I love, I'll buy it. That's just the way it is. So unfortunately, I, to, for my husband and everyone else, hi, curses. So yeah, this is a big drawer of lipsticks and I, I kind of go, I, I definitely will um, organize by texture typically. If it's like a gloss or a matte um, or a paint, they're usually here. And then I kind of sometimes I'll, I'll actually, if it's the same texture, then I'll organize by color. So it's a little bit um, madness, but I understand it. <laughs> So usually just me and my assistant really understand what's happening here and no one else, but it's still a lot of fun to look at. And I often come in here when I'm um, preparing for a shoot or if I'm preparing for a red carpet and I just sort of try things, experiment with things, mix different textures, mix different colors and come up with something unique that um, will create a, a special look. And I think, you know, this is where I find the most inspiration probably in the lipstick drawer only because it's so vivid and all the colors are just like speaking to me and <laughs> or screaming depending on how uh, you you see it. But I think that there, it's just something about it makes me feel like a kid. I always feel like a child when I look in this drawer. <laughs> this is all like supplies for my kit. They, they are kept in baskets because I usually kind of have an overflow of things. And so when it comes to like storage, I have like wipes and different things that go into my kit and kind of rotate in and out of my kit. And um, it's a constant process of editing. Sometimes, you know, if I know the client, I'll bring very little things because I understand them. They know their taste, I know their style. And so I kind of can reduce my kit down very um, concisely. And then if I'm doing a big shoot, like a fashion shoot or a beauty shoot, I have to bring everything, everything. So I pack up, you know, every color, every texture. So I'm constantly editing, going through, taking it, taking out, putting back in. It, it's a, it's a lot of um, uh, rotation. <laughs> this is something that I've had for a long, long time, and I can't, I can't bring myself to use, but it's. Um, NARS did these beautiful Japanese pigment, um, lip pigments, and I like, can't use it, but I have to keep it because it's just so beautiful. It's like a coveted um, thing. It has the, the beautiful Japanese style lip brush. It's a kabuki homage to that, um, the, the geisha style makeup, and it's just absolutely stunning. And this is how it would have been done, and they did a recreation of it, and it's just incredible. So I love those and I keep them on my shelf just to look at them. <laughs> I like to keep watercolors. I had these, I just bought a new set and this is a paper that I can, I get and it's like a, um, you know, it stands up to the watercolors. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll do color combinations and paint them and see how it feels or see how it looks. And I like to sort of get a, a feel for, um, how colors work together and that's watercolors are kind of an extension of of, um, of makeup for me I, I, I love um, like I said I feel like a painter just for faces so this kind of helps me to get my ideas out of my head and onto paper this is a picture of me doing Charlotte Rampling's uh, makeup and I just love the moment so much it was about I don't know maybe four years ago and I um, was lucky enough to get to work with her. I've just always been such a huge fan and um, the moment is so like she's so serious and it just I just love the image and the photographer sent me the picture and I just really love that photograph so much. 
Um, and then some of the photos that I have in here, some of them, like, that's my work um, from a beautiful shoot that I did for um, a couture shoot that I did um, for Elle. And then that's my husband and I, and my husband, and this is, um, this is the moment that Emma won the Oscar for La La Land. And my friend just happened to capture us watching her win, and it was just, like, all of her, you know, closest, closest family and friends and the genuine like joy that we all felt that moment when that happened and I just love that photo I love reliving that moment um, so much I can't believe he captured it <laughs> I love that this space has lots of light and I love that it's very simple um, but it houses sort of my sensibility and my history a little bit so 